Today, we're going to dive into the Data Sources tool within the Atlas platform. Data Sources is the first menu option on the left hand side, and if you click Data Sources, you'll be presented with the option to select a source and select a report. Clicking on the drop down for selecting a source will show you all of the available observational databases that you have configured within your Atlas environment. Here we see two data sources provided, Source 1 and Source 2. I'm going to select Source 1. From there, we can select a series of standardized reports that are available within the Data Sources function, including Dashboard, Data Density, Person, Visit, Condition Occurrence, Condition Era, Procedure, data ex Drug Exposure, Drug Era, Measurement, Observation, Death, and Achilles Heel. Let's take a look. Here I've selected Source 1's Dashboard report and we can see a series of tables and graphs are presented on the screen. Let's walk through the information provided on the dashboard. Our first information provides us the source name and the number of persons in the database. Here we can see that source one contains 85.8 .8 million patients. On the right hand side we can see that population broken down by gender. We can see males and females in different color codings on this donut plot. Here we can see by hovering over that there are 43 million patients who are females. Uh, that represents 50.5% of the population. The next graph on the dashboard shows us age at first observation. And this histogram presents age on the x-axis and the number of people on the y-axis. And if I hover over any of the particular bars, we can see the exact number of people that belong to that group. So in this particular database, we can see that patients that are newly born represent 3 million patients in this database. We can see that there seems to be an increase in the number of people who are entered this database in their early 20s, and there seems to be a spike in this database at age 65. The next graph down is the cumulative observation graph, and here we can see a uh, distribution of amount of time observed in a database with the number of years on the x-axis and the percent of the population on the y-axis. Hovering over any particular plot on this graph reveals information about what data point I'm looking at. So here we can see amongst this database, 42% of the patients in this database are observed in the data for two years or more. And if I go further, we can see that 5% of the population is in this database for eight years or more. The last graph on the dashboard is persons with continuous observation by month. And here we can see the x-axis showing us the calendar month and the y-axis showing us the number of persons. So for any given calendar month, if I hover over, we can see the number of people who were continuously observed within that calendar month. This database has information from back from 2000 all the way through October of 2018. And in any given month, we can explore to see that uh, the number of people with, that belong to that month and the stability of the population over time. So this was a summary of the dashboard report. Uh, for more information on Odyssey, including additional details of using Atlas and the additional data sources reports, check us out at odyssey.org.